y'all welcome back to another vlog it is monday and i just drop off the kiddo at school it snowed yesterday finally i guess i don't really mind it not snowing and we haven't really had any snow since winter it hasn't been really cold thanks for that you guys know i'm jamaican I am now about to go to Home Depot and Kroger. Let me tell you how these little ants are taking over my pantry. I don't know what's going on. My kid opens stuff in the pantry and then leave the things unopened. And then I have these itty bitty ants. So I'm about to clean out my entire pantry, wipe it down, clean it down, and also get some little ant stuff, I guess, from Home Depot to try to get them under control because my husband took out the bread this morning for breakfast and there's ants all in the bag because he left the bag open. I was off for four days. I was off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I'm gonna actually break my four day off in a row and go in on Wednesday to help. And then I'm off the weekend. I have a whole couple's date night on Saturday. I'm looking forward to that. I am off of my cleanse, so I'm gonna drink coffee today. Yay for me. All right, too much chatting. Let's run to the stores. So I'm back home and I'm tackling my pantry as I walk through the door. But I just pulled everything out of my pantry, all the snacks and stuff, but let me show you what I just discovered. Look at this marshmallow. Look at that. All of it I'm throwing out. So I had these Girl Scout cookies in here from last year. I'm actually going to throw these out because I actually do not like the thin mints and they're open and ants probably are in them. I'm actually going to toss these. I think I bought this when I was really doing keto and clearly I've had this for a long time because the expiration date as you can see was from 219 2022 so trash for this my pantry is not that big but I really need to like paint inside the pantry but I'm just lazy and we're not doing that today we just gonna wipe it down and see I try to organize my pantry because I have all glass jars for my stuff at least I have a little lazy Susan up there and up there but this whole top shelf up situation is a mess I'm just heating my water for my lemon water anyways let's do this i just watch wash my bins out i had these bins i bought these from tj maxx so i think last year i think they're for like clothes but whatever you can use this in any area just now sitting down to eat something when i tell you i'm hungry i tackled that pantry for a while but i just cooked some food i made some stir fry my husband made some rice and peas yesterday i'm gonna eat some rice and peas today i'm gonna finish the rest of my uh celery juice that i had in the fridge i need to make another batch but i don't have any more celery all right i just did a killer um 20 minute power workout it is now 7:37. I'm about to eat my salad before it's 8 o'clock because I don't want to eat after 8 o'clock. My goal is to stop eating at 6. I'm going to start that in February. And I'm so proud of myself that for the past, when I started, I think I started this on January 3rd. And today is, is it the 23rd? Today's 23rd, so 20 days. 
of me eating clean and working out consistently three to four times a week. I haven't made it to five days a week yet, but the month of February, I definitely will be working out five days a week. I'm gonna push myself that this week I work out five days a week, I'm sweating. I promise myself that even if you don't make it to the gym, work out for at least 20 minutes because you gotta move your body, you gotta do something. So let me go put my salad together. It's almost 8 30 and i'm getting ready to drop my son off at school and head to the gym i was about to rip this thing off and i forgot that these socks were sent to me by this company they are called comrade they actually sent me these last year way in a last year and i totally forgot about them they sent it to me in a pr package um to try them out it's not sponsored there are compression type socks i think on the package it says that they they have antimicrobial effects let me just splash this up over there so antimicrobial technology kills odor causing bacteria they also sent me a longer compression socks but i don't really wear compression socks really like the long ones, like the knee highs. A lot of nurses swear by them, but I don't really do compression socks. I'm gonna wear these to the gym, but they feel good. I like them so far. Anywho's, can you hear this? My husband bought this bench. Look, let me show y'all. Off of Amazon, so he can do like his workout. But I don't know why it's creaking so much. I am back home from the gym came home showered I just finished drinking my post-workout smoothie type thing so now I'm going to finish editing my vlog that's gonna go up tomorrow because I am working tomorrow I'm drinking rum and Red Bull I'm just joking <laughs> no rum no Red Bull I don't drink Red Bull and I'm not drinking alcohol it's coffee time yo I'm back on my coffee kit woo sir tastes so good let me finish editing and yeah but just do one come back for coming sure of that that's all that's it <laughs> all right hello hello good afternoon it's actually 1 40 and i finished working out and i'm actually cooking I'm gonna make some curry chicken. Uh, husband says he wants some curry chicken and he wants some fried plantain. So that's what I'm gonna look about for him. I don't know what I'm gonna eat yet, but I did just blend up my shake because I just woke up. This is my protein shake, and I have two boiled eggs that I've, I have sitting in water that I actually boiled last night, but I'm gonna eat them right now. I didn't have to work today, they didn't need me. It is snowing. We had a snow weather wintry thing for this morning even my son's school got canceled so he didn't have to go to school today i don't mind because it is snowing so so bad outside right now so i bought this um lunch kit for my son to take to school because he needs to bring food that that can be warm like that's kept warm because he doesn't eat cold sandwiches and stuff like that and it's been a struggle with him on lunches because <clears throat> he hates the food at school he doesn't want to eat it and it's been a struggle so let me show you all what i bought and how mad i am because i bought it from amazon spent 45 dollars this thing and it does not keep the food warm the the this is supposed to be the part that keeps the food warm and it doesn't keep the food warm i have to go buy let me see if i have it handy probably it's in my dishwasher i had to go buy this one i bought this one from 
Meyer the other day when I was shopping and this actually keeps the food warm funny thing I saw this in TJ Maxx I paid $17 and then I went to TJ Maxx yesterday and I saw it, saw it for $9.99 so if you're looking for anything like this check TJ Maxx first before you go to like Meyer any of those places this I'm sending back to Amazon I want my 45 I think it was 44 my $44 back you guys it is almost 7 o'clock 4 minutes before 7 p.m. and I was trying to finalize my vlog that I'm trying to put up tonight but YouTube is still doing this checks on this video now if you do YouTube you know I don't know why they're this check is taking so long to be done because I want to upload I wanted to upload this at six o'clock but when I can't hear it in the background hold on let me turn on my music in. yeah I'm back but I just realized that well I didn't just realize I know my driver's license is expiring in April because April is my birthday. I have to take a new picture. My NP license is also expiring in April. Can you believe it's five years? Five years off really practicing as a nurse practitioner. That is crazy to me. Well, really four and a half years because I passed the boards in April and I didn't get a job. You guys know it took me six months to get a job, but five years of officially being an NP because you renew your license every five years. So I'm trying to get all the stuff together that I need to renew my license. And my girlfriend just texted me and said, implicit bias needs to be done. So don't forget that. So she just sent me the link and I need to go sign up for that. And then I'm then gonna sign up for the pharmacology thing to do with that. So the, this I'm gonna do this week to get all my ducks in a row so that I can remove the lip drive. So that I can, you know, renew my license. Also, my BLS and my ACLS is expiring in February. I do not have to redo my ACLS because the previous NP job that I had didn't require it. This job that I have don't require ACLS either, but I wanted to keep up with my ACLS because in my mind, someday down the road, I am going to get my dream position and ACLS is going to be a requirement. So I have been renewing my ACLS every single time, every two years, just as when I was working in the ICU. So my face looks smaller to y'all. <laughs> you know, when you're at work or and you feel yourself, and you're like, wait a minute, is my face smaller? What? Another thing, I have a husband who pumps me up. So he's like, all right, babes, body, 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 body. <laughs> Yeah, I'm already good buddy Laurie. Okay, sir. Well, thank you because that is boosting my confidence and I'm here for it. And I'm back home I left the gym and I had to make a few stops um, you guys saw that I dropped off the thing at Kohl's for Amazon return then I went into Sephora saw me in Sephora show you what I picked up and this was not my money I had gift cards okay uh, I got the Fenty Beauty um, pro filter soft matte foundation powder because I want to kind of not use liquid foundation and then I bought this soft matte advanced perfecting powder from NARS I saw this girl review this on YouTube and I said oh honey I got pores and let me see if it's gonna work for real because I got huge pores and um, we're gonna see if it works uh, how much was these like I said I didn't pay anything oh lord both of these were $79.50 that was a lot of money but it wasn't my money so hey I'm gonna drink this and then shower I'll get started with my day I want to record two YouTube videos today oh 
I put up my vlog yesterday and a couple of you guys were saying that you have used this Elmhurst milk. This only lasts five days, y'all. I opened it on the 20th, on the 20th. today is the 25th. It's done and it was barely anything in there. I just kind of left a little because I knew I was going to blend my thing up. Lord Jesus. $7 for five days. So every five days make a buy this. And then say if, if you want good, you know that you run. You know that? That's a Jamaican term. You know? <laughs> my gosh. It's kind of high. I don't know. I'm probably going to buy it again though. I know I probably am. I am planning on getting a personal trainer. I have never had a personal trainer in my life. I think I'm going to get a personal trainer be just because I really want to get in the best shape of my life. Like for real, for real. And that is the reason why I'm not doing keto. I'm not doing excessive low carb. I'm just cleaning up my eating right now. I told my husband last night that, you know what? I'm going to invest in a personal trainer. I There's this gym that I want to go to i'm not gonna do that janky old planet fitness no ma'am <laughs> because Mr. Uncle my name is she a personal trainer no shade but no mm -mm. but there's this gym by me that i am going to go check it out probably go check it out this weekend and like to get some information i'm gonna work out with a trainer twice a week at least and then still do my own own stuff uh, my birthday is april 1st and instead of me buying a new bag or new shoes which may not need it it's nice i'm gonna invest in a personal trainer for six months when i spend my money i do what i need to do trust and believe because me i'm gonna waste money mm -mm. i'm gonna believe in a wasting money when we work hard for it let me go take my vitamins and i'll see you guys yeah. i'm ready Look at my face. Guess what I just used? I just used the NARS. Um, I actually used the lip bar. What do you call that? Tinted moisturizer. Yeah. And then I put on the NARS. Something let me just buy. Oh, baby. This looks amazing. It looks so, so good. The skin. That thing is, ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. Anywho's, I'm going to record this video real quick. And then I'm going to eat something because I'm hungry. I'm feeling myself. When I tell you I am feeling so good in my body, I am feeling myself. And I have not even lost half of the 20 pounds because i have not lost 10 pounds by june she gonna be snatched you sold snatched what girls we gonna be snatched by the summertime okay we not playing i'm saying we because i know some of you guys are also on a health journey weight loss journey so we are not playing with 2023 and beyond okay i know i'm not and you better not either. We're going to be snatched. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. Uh, it's almost 3 p.m. And I'm just about to look about something to eat. I'm actually frying a little piece of turkey bacon. And I'm going to make fry an egg and do like a little sandwich wrap real quick. But I have it up. I did work out at home today with the hubby. And um, went and cleaned up my son's room. Had him help because, sir, we need to declutter this room. I am decluttering my house one small space at a time. Went through all his books. We're getting rid of some of his books because the books that are upstairs in his room are just not his age anymore. He's into um, Last Kids on Earth series, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, those little Minecraft books. Like he's reading through those things. So I need to donate a bunch of books um from like kindergarten he's in the fourth grade now so i'm gonna go donate a bunch of them i just want to jump in because i didn't vlog yesterday this is my quick meal this is a low carb wrap i just got one egg avocado turkey bacon in there my husband wanted some green plantain so i took two of them and then my coffee it looked oily because i have mct oil in it and i'm about to kill this right now what is up it's sunday it's 3 40 p.m and i'm trying to edit my vlog that is supposed to go up tonight 
I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I'm actually getting ready to go over to my mom's house to go get my child because he spent the night with my mother last night. We went out, we had a couple's date night. We ended up going to Block Detroit. If you live in Metro Detroit, let me know if you've ever been there and what your thoughts are. Um, we went there because we kind of came up last minute with couples date night and every restaurant that we wanted to go to they were all booked and my sister i can't i guess my sister says she was on instagram looking at different restaurants from different folks in the city that have these like restaurant pages and she was like oh you know let's try it out the appetizers were fine the entrees were terrible and the drinks were also not that great so yeah that's my thought on that you know the thing is with inflation and everything are you going out to eat because you're spending so much money you want a decent experience i mean i know i do because it's a, it's a lot of money now to go to these restaurants they automatically add gratuity on and then i typically try to give another tip as well but they it doesn't matter your party size they're adding on their 18 20 percent gratuity which is fine because they do deserve their tip but then you get the food and the food is lackluster the service is lack lackluster it's just ma'am we have definitely cut back on eating out and takeouts and stuff like that because i'm telling you i will, we were spending a lot of money in like takeout anyways i'm gonna try to edit as much as i can and if it doesn't go up tonight i'll pre i'll put it up tomorrow on a monday which i don't normally put up any videos on a monday but that's fine uh oh we ended up going to mgm casino when i tell you i have not stepped foot in a casino in oh i don't know how long we were like Wait a minute, I thought the casino is no smoking. When did they start smoking the casino again? Try to stink of smoke. Had a few drinks and just, you know, chill and chat with each other for a little bit. So, I mean, overall, it was a good evening. It's good to get out. It's good to be around friends and stuff. That is it for this vlog. Let me go get my child and get him situated, getting ready for his school week for this week and i will see you guys in another video like comments subscribe share all of the things bye